Hey, Monica King here, King's Titan Homestead, and today we are not talking bees, but we're going to talk onions. Um, so I picked these onions up at, um, I think just Walmart. You probably can get them cheaper at like a food city or um, some uh, other like um, El Super or something like that if you're here in Tucson. Um, if not, let me show you what these are. These are a Mexican onion. I think I've only seen seeds to these maybe one time in the past, um, and I think they only they just call them cebolla, which basically is onion in Spanish. Um, so what I did is I picked these up, and they're kind of like a scallion, but with a bigger bulb on the end, and they are delicious. These are fantastic. You can use them in salsas. You can use them... Um, you, you find them a lot at Mexican restaurants, uh, right next to carne asada or something, um, like a steak, um, where they take these smaller bulbs and they just put them right on the grill, right with the steak, and then they just grill them up and serve them right on the side. Down in Mexico, when I used to go down there a lot, um, a friend of mine made some really delicious um, ones with really big bulbs. And what she did was she wrapped them in aluminum foil, put a pat of butter, <laughs> of course, and a little dash of salt on each, you know, each one. And so like if you were putting these two in the aluminum foil, what you would be doing is you would putting them, cleaning them up and putting them opposite like this, putting the pat of butter in there and sprinkling them with salt and then wrapping that aluminum foil up and putting it on the grill and then you just test it by poking through the aluminum foil into the bulb to see if it's cooked. But what I'm doing today with these is I am checking, they're very hard to find them where they haven't cleaned them to the point where like this, this is like cleaned so much there's not hardly any root. Um, a lot of times I find that if I plant these, they'll just like rot. But this one here, if you notice, this one's got um, some uh, nice little roots starting. I'll put that right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this in a pot. That's right, I bought them at the grocery store and I'm planting them. And what I'm wanting from them is I'm wanting, uh, here's another really great one. I'm wanting them to seed. And so the flowers will come. I'll get these really gorgeous flowers on them. Little balls of beautiful white stars um, and then the bees just love them the bees like they just flock to them I love how much the bees love onions and then I will gather the seeds once they start to dry and then I'm going to germinate them and grow my own cebolla um, I did this in the past <laughs> and I forgot to mark what seeds they were. So I know that they're onion seeds, but I don't know if they're the Spanish onion I had gathered one year or if they are the cebolla I did. So I'm gonna try this again, and this time I'm hoping to be a little bit more organized. So I'm trying all these different tips and things to keep myself organized. Like if you might notice, I have this on my wrist. This is to actually remind me that I have a water hose running. Um, because I'm really bad at turning off my water and we need to make sure that we don't waste water. Um, so that's like, that. So I'm going to finish planting these and the ones that do not have any roots and are really like really like definitely not going to grow, those are going to be for dinner. You know, it actually turns out kind of pretty, especially if you use a fancy planter. And thank you Cheryl for the planter. Also if you notice, this doesn't take up much space. You can do this on a balcony you can do this you know at a window um, this is not a very large I think this is maybe a 10 or 12 inch pot and to mention I did have three bunches they cost a dollar 27 per bunch and where I was at you probably can find them a little cheaper but um, you if you can't find the Mexican um, onion you can use scallions instead um, but this, I'm purposely looking to get the seeds from these onions. Um, so this is just something I wanted to mention. This is almost like something you can just do anywhere. And once it flowers, I will show a video, um, 
just kind of keep you guys updated on that. And you just want to keep it a little bit of moist as you're starting. And they're pretty hardy. Um, it's really great. I, I grow onions a lot. Okay, so as I mentioned, when it's on the grill, you just kind of poke the ends where the bulbs are. And you can just see this goes right through. The bulbs are no longer hard. Oh, these are going to be so delicious. Sweet. Oh, I can't wait. 